Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. I wanted to make a quick summary video of the new FIFA 22 Ultimate Team launch update pitch notes that we received earlier today on Thursday because there's a lot of information in here and if you didn't get to read them through yourself or completely understand what's going on, there's some big updates in here with the featured team of the week items, some news for ones to watches, preview packs, a confirmed date for the web app, which is actually on the date that we thought it was going to be all along. I want to take you through some of this today and make things simple and easy to understand and also talk about how this could impact the game, how this could impact the market in the next couple of days as people get on to the game for the first time and basically everything that we learned today about the start of the game through these pitch notes. So let's get into it. First things first, they kind of laid it out. Oh, actually, first things first here. Look who's writing these. An old FIFA Ultimate Team creator himself, Mr. Foot Economist, Jamie Kane, writing these pitch notes. GG's, Jamie. Let's go. Uh, I don't know if this is the first big article that he's written, but I don't know if I've ever seen his name on these. So that is very interesting. But let's talk about all of these different things that EA covered today. The big ones are going to be the performance-based programs, Foot Heroes, Preview Packs, and the Companion App. Now, there's important areas elsewhere, but those are the big, big ones. That I want to talk about today. So, early access. What we learned from this is that there's going to be a couple new objectives right off the bat. Now, when EA is mentioning early access, I think what they're referencing is this because every time they say early access, they're pointing back to the four days early access that is buying the ultimate edition. So, this does not necessarily mean that all of these things will be available on the 22nd, but they will be available. On the 27th, when the full game is released via early access to those who pre-ordered the Ultimate Edition, as they wrote here. So, an 80-84 to 84 overall player pick. This is something that it says here is going to become out as an objective. I would 100%, if it's as long as it's not too crazy of a grind, I would 100% get this objective done. Because an 80-84 to 84 overall rated card at this stage of the game is not, you're not hoping for an SBC fodder type card. You're hoping for somebody like a Furlan Mendy. Uh, somebody like an Eder Militao. Imagine packing one of those cards from a, a, a player pick. Where, yeah, a player pick. So there's multiple items there in front of you. And, you know, 84 rated Phil Foden. That's an 84 rated card. There's plenty of cards that you might be able to pack from that 80 to 84 player, player pick that would be insane. So as long as it doesn't require super crazy amount of games or objectives or anything like that like if it's just hey play three squad battles games score two goals outside the box keep a clean sheet it's like okay i'm already going to be playing squad battles games to be getting rewards from squad battles so why not do this too if it's that sort of like ease of level of an objective a hundred percent i'd be getting that done and getting that player pick also a 10-game week, Team of the Week loan, whatever, it is what it is. Might be useful if Team of the Week 1 is cracked, depending on how hard that objective is. Team of the Week number 1 with boosted items will be released. Now, it says this is all during early access, but I would think that Team of the Week 1 will be released on the 22nd of September when EA Play and the web app both drop because that's what has always happened. They always drop some special cards in packs to kind of start off the Team of the Week cycle. So this weekend is a big weekend for games because that would mean the players that perform well this weekend would be ones that are be getting their informs next Wednesday with the start of FIFA 22. So make sure you keep an eye on that. Also, featured Team of the Week item. That's one of the big things we're going to talk about in a second. So next thing is the a limited time, early access, foot friendly, uh, where you can compete for pack rewards. Again, all depends on the pack rewards. Are they good packs? For this level of the game, don't expect 50k, 100k packs, but potentially, um, you know, some tradable packs. Even if it's like a 15k pack tradable, that might be pretty decent. So just putting that out there as well. Let's go on to ones to watch because there's some interesting things as a part of the ones to watch promo. As you guys know, a crazy, crazy, crazy transfer window this summer, and EA is doing something to, I guess, um, recognize that as a part of their ones to watch promo. So we're going to start here first. In FIFA 21, last year, there were 22 ones to watch items across team one and two. Correct. This year, to help celebrate an astonishing transfer window, six additional items will be made available across teams one and two for a total of 28. And the way they're going to do this is they're going to release 
Team One on Friday, and they're going to release a mini release on Sunday. So for the first two weeks of the full game release, we'll have October 1st, 11 ones to watch cards and packs. Two days later on Sunday, on the 3rd of October, we will have a ones to watch mini release. Three more ones to watch cards will be put in packs for the rest of that week. Next Friday, the October 8th, ones to watch team two, full 11 in packs. The next Sunday after that, October 10th, three more cards come into packs and boom, there's your 28 total cards that will be released during ones to watch. So I like that. And I wonder if this is going to be a little bit of a look in on how they're going to be doing promos at some point throughout the year this year in FIFA 22 is having mini releases on Sundays because we have had that in the past in team of the season where they would release a main league on Friday and then a minor league on like Sunday or Monday into packs. So it's not a new concept, but I'm wondering if since they're doing this and showing this already, if it's something that they plan to incorporate throughout the rest of the year. So where this plays in is for all of you that pre-ordered the ultimate edition, when do you want to open your guaranteed ones to watch pack? Which of course you remember from last year, we had the same predicament as well, depending on who is in team one and who is in team two and who you want to pack. Like if you really want Ronaldo and you want the lowest odds, let's say Ronaldo is in team one, technically your lowest odds are going to be right there. Boom. In the first couple days on that Friday and Saturday, because Ronaldo, one of 11 players, it'll be one of what is, what will it be? One of 14 players on Sunday through the rest of that week. So if you really want somebody that is in team one or team two, the, or in one of the mini releases, you can kind of schedule that out and open your pack. But honestly, what I'm going to do is going to be wait until October 13th, because then you have all of the ones to watch cards that were in packs available to be packed from that guaranteed ones to watch pack. So that's what I would recommend doing unless you really want to risk it and you don't want to wait any longer and try to pack the card that you really want from ones to watch. Um, one thing I will say is it's really hard to pack insane stuff from these ones to watch packs. So many people last year were, I, I got ZH and I felt like I was in the 1% of the, like, 1% of the people that opened up guaranteed ones to watch packs and Ziek was like not the best ones to watch He was decent, but nowhere near the best these ones to watch packs are never really that good And also why not wait right if you even if you really want Ronaldo or Messi Why not wait and have a shot at both instead of just one because I would imagine that they both would not be released in the same team That's just my hunch, but uh, that way EA could headline two different teams one with Ronaldo one with Messi that's just kind of my thoughts on how they would do it. But it's not like there's foot champs going on. The only time you would miss maybe is maybe playing some rivals games, getting into the foot champions playoff, because I don't believe that foot champs will be up and running by October 13th. So it's not like you're going to be missing out getting the best rewards possible with your ones to watch card. That probably is just going to be like an 80 rated uh, somebody from somewhere anyway. So that's why my preference for me and for maybe a lot of you guys would be to be waiting until that October 13th period but that's just my opinion also with ones to watch we knew about this already but the wins to watch upgrade so starting from October 1st none of the games from now until October 1st technically matter for this but from October 1st and onwards the next 10 domestic league games for each of the ones to watch cards if their club wins five of those 10 they get an additional plus one. So, of course, all the PSG guys uh, like the Messi, Wijnaldum, and Hakimi, everybody will be watching those for that potential plus one because they would expect them to win at least five games out of their next 10 league games. So, just some new notes there from ones to watch. Now, this is a big one. Performance-based programs and specifically the featured team of the week. Now, last year in FIFA 21, they had these things called meaningful moments. We never really felt like we got a good explanation of what it was, and they never never really came out and showed us, hey, we're using the meaningful moments uh, thing that we talked about in these pitch notes on upgrading this card right here. But this year, what they're doing is they're saying they're doing something different about team of the week, which is huge. And also, this the way they're wording this means there's more to come. They use the words, stay tuned, stay tuned for more down here at the bottom. That always, that always leaves us scratching our heads like what could be coming next. So introducing featured team of the week, that is the first performance-based program new upgrade that they are debuting to us today. Featured team of the week items. Basically, 
featured team league items will be given a larger boost, increasing their appeal in squad building. Because up here in this paragraph, they talk about how people are saying informs just fell behind the power curve in the game, which is very, very true after the first couple weeks. Maybe the first couple months, informs just kind of tailed off, especially some of the lower tier ones, right? So this is how they're trying to combat that. So from each team of the week, they're going to select a team of the week player each week. And instead of a standard boost, they're going to give them a larger boost, which basically from looking at this picture means a double boost. Now, the only requirements for these cards that will be in team of the week is it has to be 80 rated or below and they have they cannot have a once to watch card or road to the final or any sort of live item so at the start team of the week one team of the week two before there's any live cards out it's just got to be an 80 rated base card or below they have to have a uh, a good performance right and how are these being chosen well that's the only caveat ea is choosing these themselves but showing this graphic here which i'm going to zoom in on in a second you can see that they're choosing a pretty big name player. Wow, really quality graphic here, EA Sports, GG's. They chose Jude Bellingham as their, um, I guess, poster boy example for this. So let's say Bellingham has a good game, which he did earlier this week in Champions League. Champions League, don't get informed, but just use the analogy here for a second. Bellingham has a great game on the weekend, right? Scores a goal, assists a goal, boom, Dortmund win. Instead of going from a 79 to an 82 with an inform, if EA chose him to be a featured team of the week boost, he would get a double boost and go from an 82 then to an 84. So basically the way you can think about it is this 79 Bellingham would get an 84 rated inform instead of an 82. It's not like he'll get two informs and have two different cards on the market. It will just be the featured team of the week boost. This would be his normal card, but because EA is going to feature him, he's going to get this boost and all the featured team of the week cards will get this little star right above the rating. So that is how those featured team of the week boosts are going to work. Again, the caveat to this is 80 rated or below. So let's look back last year into FIFA 21 and look at some of the team of the weeks, team of the week one and team of the week two, and look at how many options we had to get featured informs. Renato Sanchez. This card, Renato Sanchez, last year was 78 rated. So that means that this 82 rated inform Renato Sanchez this year could be an 84 if EA would have chosen him to be a featured Team of the League boosted card. How nuts would that have been to start off with an 84 Renato, then have this one be like an 86? Like it would have been crazy to have an 84 Renato with how OP he ended up being last year. Another great card that could have been upgraded further, Ali Watkins, 76 rated card that would have been an 84 with his first inform last year with a, a secondary featured Team of the Week boost. Team of the Week 1 last year was Ansu Fati. I know a lot of you guys remember this card. He was really OP. A lot of people like to use him. This card would have been an 84. Imagine the boost on this. Another plus 3, the stats that this card would have had. That is where the hype for this featured Team of the Week upgrade comes in. I think it's really going to be at the peak hype level in the first two weeks. Team of the Week 1, 2, 3, and 4 probably are going to be the biggest weeks for these featured Team of the Week boosts until we start getting more promos and more cards that kind of make these other informs not as good as before. But still, I like this because there's huge potential here. All we're relying on is EA to pick a good card, right? I hope EA picks a good card every single week. And why wouldn't they, right? I mean, there's no reason for them to pick somebody. Like if you look at Team of the Week 2 from last year, like there's no shot that they're going to pick Geikowitz. There's no shot they're going to pick on hell, to be completely honest. Like why would they pick somebody like that when they could pick a Watkins or a Renato Sanchez or, you know, um, somebody like that? Even, even St. Max last year was an 80 rated card. He could have had an 85 rated boost if they would have chosen him week one or week two so the potential is there for these cards now i think that this featured team of the week boost might not stay forever because it also says featured team of the week items are just one of the ways we hope to refresh performance based programs stay tuned for more so we will see what they have to say about that but that's i would say the biggest thing that's the biggest thing that we learned from the pitch notes yesterday love that love that big time now moving on to foot heroes because this is big as well. All foot heroes will be available in foot starting with the worldwide launch on October 1st. 
collapsed the EA Sports because we were worried these were not gonna come out until December. Big dub. They're gonna be released from the start date. These are, to me, these are gonna act a lot like icons, especially the ones like Di Natale and uh, Ginola, the ones that are very, Adeyemi, I think, is, is he one of the, I forget what the guy's name is, uh, the African player, is it Ghana or something like that? I forget his name. Maybe I should look at the list because I remember this guy's card and I wanna look him up because he's insane. But all of these cards are going to be, no, I, I, Abedi? Abedi, I can't speak, bro. Abedi Pele, that's the one, not Adeyemi. That's a totally different player. Abedi Pele from League One, right? There's a lot of hype with some of these heroes and the fact that they're gonna be released day one is fantastic. Love that. Also, what it shows in here is there may be additional versions made available as part of select promos in FIFA 22. So, what we talked about earlier of heroes having other cards that could come out could be happening later on this year. So I love that, right? Because that means they might be upgrading some of these as long as we go along in the cycle to make them more, what would you say, in line with the power curve of card stats and cards getting better. Big fan of that. GG's EA Sports. I kind of wish they'd be available on launch day, not on October 1st, but it is what it is. So icons. Obviously, we've got Cafu, Casillas, and Van Persie already uh, revealed. Now, the fourth icon, I can tell you right now, it is known to be Wayne Rooney. It is going to be Wayne Rooney, probably announced in the next two to three weeks. Uh, coming soon, they say. I would even say it's probably next week they're going to reveal Rooney here. But that is the card they will be releasing. They confirmed icon swaps and icon SBCs again. And they also confirmed that base and mid versions will be available from foot uh, from launch. So basically from the web app start and from the uh, EA Play start, the base and mid versions of icons will be in packs and they're going to give us more information probably in a further pitch notes article about icon program later this year. So they told us the basics, base and mids are in packs. There's going to be SBCs. There's going to be swaps again. GG's. All right. And Wayne Rudy's going to be announced soon. That's the other thing with icons. So this is another big one. Preview packs, because we haven't heard anything about preview packs, no confirmation. We saw them in the beta, we heard about them, and we came to kind of like them in FIFA 21 at the end of the year, but big specific news, and I'm going to spend a little bit of time talking about this, preview packs are going to be in the store every single day, like they were in FIFA 21. Two packs though, only two packs to start off with, the premium silver pack, and the premium gold pack. So 7.5K packs, that's the biggest one here. There's going to be a version that is previewable and non-previewable. So all the standard packs that we're used to, right? The bronze, silver, and gold packs, only two are going to be previewable. And they'll have preview versions and non-preview versions. But what that means is you'll be able to preview a 7.5K pack every day. Every single day, you're going to be able to preview a 7.5K pack. And I would imagine that this is going to start when you literally on day one, which means that there's going to be more supply of cards on the market from the beginning of the game this year than we have ever had before, because everybody's going to be able to open one pack every day. And guess what's going to come out of those packs? A lot of lower rated players. Some people are never going to buy some of these previews because they won't be good, but you're going to have a chance every day. And what's going to happen? There's just going to be more supply on the market, especially of lower tier cards. I think you're going to see prices drop off faster this year, especially when we get into the full stage of the game, the October 1st timeframe, when everybody gets on the game and can preview that pack on that day. It's, it's going to be a lot of supply. It is. It's going to be very interesting to see how this plays out and how it works. And we're going to make some specific videos on the market side of this and talking about that in the next week still. But it was nice to get confirmation today that preview packs are in 22 and that they're going to start off with a 7.5K preview pack every single day. Also for silvers, right? A premium silver pack every single day. I mean, shoot. That's going to bring a lot of silver supply to the market for you guys that are going to be trading like myself with some of these silver uh, cards that are going to be needed for league, S not league SBCs, but the, uh, the early advanced SBCs. That's going to be 12 silver items, three rare with the players being 65 to 74 rated from this premium silver pack, right? It's going to be the same pack in FIFA 22. That's very interesting. So preview packs, again, we'll see how that all plays out and we'll continue to talk about it. But 
it is nice to know that that is confirmed. That's going to impact the market big time. Uh, EA Play member benefits, I'm not even going to read about that. Just cancel your EA Play after the 10 hours. It's not worth the monthly foot stadium customization items that you could get unless you want uh you do get a seasonal boost on xp if you're really trying to get to level 30 every month maybe it's worth it for you so go look that up if you think you're going to be interested in that but uh, i'm not going to talk about it much today foot preseason rewards will be available by the 12th of october i think these are going to come out before the 12th of october i expect like the first of october the full release date is when I expect these preseason rewards to be released. Uh, I doubt it'll be on the 12th. It does not. This does not mean they'll be released on the 12th. It means they will be released before then, but the 12th is like their last chance date for EA to get them out to you. So if you did any of those player picks, the starter packs, the nation packs, the league packs, uh, those will be out pretty soon. I think it'll be out on the full release date. That's my opinion. Again, a confirmed date for the web app launching web September 22nd and mobile a day later on September 23rd. One quick tip, make sure you get on the mobile app every single day. Usually at the start of the game, they give out small coin boosts or very small packs as an engagement reward right away for logging in. So also see this, the latest you'll be able to use the foot companion app without logging into the full game is October 17th. So you can start your club on the companion app, but if you don't log into the full game by October 17th, then it sounds like you can't continue to use the companion app or the web app. So if that applies to you, there's that. And that basically, boys, is the entirety of the pitch notes today that I wanted to talk about. I know there's a lot in here. I think EA actually saved some information. They didn't go into grand detail about icons. They could have went into more detail about what other upgrades are going to do this year. They could have went into more detail about foot heroes and preview packs, to be honest, but I'm glad they didn't because I think this is a good starter piece. And then I like what they're doing here and saying that they're going to be releasing more information, especially on icons that deserves its own kind of pitch notes article in my opinion. So we'll see what other information we get along those lines, but I wanted to get this video out to you today to talk about the brand new pitch notes and everything big that we learned from it. If you enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have questions, and of course, subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Accountant. I will catch you guys later. Peace out.